What's going on everybody and welcome to this video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. As you probably have heard and seen it leaked all throughout the internet and on the official Konami website, there's going to be a new mini box, which is supposed to be dropping June 18th, I believe so, which is Guardians of Rock, Magnet Warriors, and Trimids. Nothing can get past these Defenders of Stone. So now we are going to be playing with a lot of extra stuff too, so better be warned. Get your gems going, get them credit cards activated, because you know you want to get a piece of it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the recommended cards, which is Berserkian, the Electro Magna Warrior. <clears throat> Only thing about him is cannot be snow summoned or set, must be special, must first be special summoned from your hand by Banshee 1 Alpha, the Electro Magnet Warrior. Beta the Electromagnet Warrior and Gamma the Electric Magnet Warrior from your hand, graveyard, and or face up from your monster's zone. Okay, so we gotta make sure it's in your hand, face up, or in the graveyard. So, not bad at all. So, <clears throat> excuse me, because I got a little under the way with this. As you can banish one level four or lower. Magnet Warrior, monster from your graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card is in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target one, each of your banished Alpha, the Electromagnet Warrior, Beta, the Ma Electromagnet Warrior, and Gamma, the Electromagnet Warrior, special summon them. That's some good defense. Wow. But... Only under certain con certain conditions, which looks like it can be met as well. Then you also have the Breeze Dragon. When this tuner monster is normal summon, you can special summon a monster with 500 attack or less from your graveyard. So special summon a non-tuner level 3 monster to single summon Ancient Fairy Dragon or Black Rose Dragon. Which, I have yet to get my first Black Rose Dragon. So I'm a little jelly right there without the gem, if you know what I mean. And got some pretty good defense as well. Now this trap card, Magician Navigation, holy shit. That's all I'm going to say about it. Because the trap card lets you special summon one Dark Magician from your hand. And then you can special summon one level 7 Dark Spellcaster type monster from your deck. In addition, if you control a Dark Magician, you can banish this card from your graveyard to negate a Spell or Trap card. Your opponent controls until the end of the turn. Uh... Wouldn't be surprised if this card is going to be on the semi-limited list in the future. The near, near future at that. Then we have Trimid Master. This monster lets you send one Trimid card to the graveyard to destroy one set card. Trimid field spell cards have effects that activate when they are sent to the graveyard, so you can this card works great with them. Again. Moderate attack with 1800 defense is very weak, but again, it's a level four so you can definitely get on the field as well All right, so let's take a look here Thought ruler archfiend synchro If this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard gain life points equal to that monster's original attack in the graveyard during either player's turn when a spell or trap card is activated that targets exactly one psychic type monster Mmm, I, I like that. And no other card. You can pay a thousand life points, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Hmm. I I really like Psycho Synchros. They've been coming out with some decent ones. And again, <clears throat> pretty good attack. 2700 and 2300 defense. Then we have Sukoyomi. That's some cool looking artwork. Spellcaster Spirit, which cannot be special summoned. This card is normal summon or flip face up. Target one face up monster on the field. Change that target to face down defense position. Oh wow. Do we not need Kanads anymore? Or is this going to be more issues with it being that you can run Kanadios in your deck also? Once per turn, during the end phase of this card with normal summon or flip face up this turn, return it to the hand. Wow. I need three of those right there. That would be. That's some good. That's some good defense. Flip it face down. Defense position. Shit. Alpha, the Electromagnet Warrior. 
This card is normal or a special summon. You can add one level eight Magna Warrior monster from your <coughs> excuse me to your, from your deck to your hand. Once only this uses effect of Alpha the Electromagnet Warrior. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card special summon one level four Magnet Warrior monster from your deck. This is a quick effect. Then we have Guardian Eidos. If you have no monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Ooh. Ooh. Let me, re Let me re read that for you. I don't think y'all heard me. If you have no monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Damn. That's strong. You can send one of your equipped spell cards equipped to this card to the graveyard, then target up to three monsters in your opponent's graveyard. Banish those targets. And if you do, this card gains 500 attack for each monster banished by this effect until the end of this turn. That's pretty good. I need to get my hands on this card ASAP. Alright, so then of course has some example of combos, which you have Gamma the Electromagnet Warrior plus Alpha the Electromagnet Warrior and Delta the Magnet Warrior. You pretty much first summon Gamma. Use the effect special summon alpha. Next, use effect of alpha to add Berserkion to from your deck to your hand and end your turn. During your opponent's turn, use both the effects of alpha and gamma to tribute them and special summon Delta the Magnet Warrior from your excuse me got the hiccups now. <clears throat> Delta the Magnet Warrior from your deck. Then use the effect of Delta the Magnet Warrior to send Beta to the graveyard. Now you're all ready to special summon Berserkion the Electromagnet warrior that's insane it's gonna be a lot of sh 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 going on so the next combo try mid cruiser plus try mid king golem and try mid master activate cruiser from your hand and send it to the graveyard to activate king golem this will trigger the effect of cruiser and then the graveyard letting you add master from your deck to your hand then summon master and activate the effect to send king golem to the graveyard and destroy one set card in the field now you use the effect of king golem that was sent to the graveyard to special summon a tri mid monster from your hand wow this is getting insane all right so there's a total of 50 types three ultra rare 10 secret rare 17 rare and 20 normal now i skimmed over this box a little bit and i see we have a quite a bit of recycled cards which stop it konami just stop it all right so we can i'm just gonna go ahead and give you a little quick breeze through of them there's berserk young where they read his effect i already read the effect of the breeze dragon Alright, look at where the effect of <clears throat> Magician Navigation. So those are your three ultra rares, which shouldn't be that difficult to pull from a mini box if you have your gems right, or if you from your hand you activate your mom's credit card or possibly your credit card, it all depends, you know. Everybody cries about people pay for the free to play games to pay to win. Yada yada yada. They obviously don't know what the anime is originally about. Then we have Thought Ruler Archfiend. We went through that. What? Let me send that there. We went through that already. Amulet Dragon. All right, so now we've got a fusion monster. <laughs> one Dark Magician and one Dragon type monster. It must be fusion something with the above fusion materials or with the eye of Timius. I can't see from here. It's too small. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. If the card is special summoned, target any number of spell cards in any graveyard, minimum one. Banish those targets. And if you do, this card gains 100 attack for each card banished by this effect. If this card is destroyed, you can target one spellcaster monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so we can skip Alpha because we already know what we can do. We can skip Gamma, so we already know what we do. Skip Trimen Master, you know what we do. Guardian Eidos, you know what we do. This car is gonna be a beast. I'm also, I'm, I'm kinda, kinda wondering how this will work with Dark Lords, you know, bang. But I'm not gonna tell y'all what my thoughts are on deck ideas. 
we can skip Sukiyomi. <clears throat> this is actually pretty much the monster version of Kanadia in a way. Block Dragon. Here we go. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon from your hand or graveyard by banishing three earth. <laughs> what? Not for that. By banishing three earth monsters from your hand and or graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Rock type monster you control cannot be destroyed except by battle. Okay, that's a plus there. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add up to three rock type monsters from your deck to your hand, whose total levels equal eight. You can only use this effect of block dragon once per turn. So, you banish three earth monsters. Your rock type monster cannot be destroyed. Oh crap, hold up. Cannot be destroyed by battle. I cannot be destroyed except by battle. So that's definitely going to be a plus plus on my end. All right, Tribe Cruiser. Each time a rock type monster is normal summon, gain 500 life points. If a tribe monster is normal summon, you can draw one card, then discard one card. If this face-up card on the, in the field zone is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Tribe monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Tribe Cruiser once per turn. Hmm, it's interesting. I wonder how this will go with uh, Gem Knights. Hmm, interesting. All right, <clears throat> Catapult Zone, another field spell. Once per turn, if a monster you control will be destroyed by battle, you can send one rock type monster from your deck to the graveyard instead. Well, I want to start working on some rock counters, it seems like, because holy hell. Rock type are getting some support this box, y'all. Things again. Here we are. Timius, the Knight of Destiny, which requires Legendary Knight Timius, Legendary Knight Critias, Legendary Knight Hermes, must be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above cards you control to the graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. You do not use polymerization. Unaffected by other card effects, once per battle, if this card battles during damage calculation in either player's turn, you can make this card's attack and defense become equal to the attack of the monster on the field with the highest attack, your choice if tied. Damn. Damn. <laughs> when this card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon three legendary knight monsters from your hand, deck, and or graveyard, ignoring their summoning conditions. The only problem is, is the condition you have to have three legendary knights, Atemius, Critias, and Hermos on the field. But like I said, that can be something that can be something very interesting to work with. Tyrant Burst Dragon. Must be special summoned with the Fane of Critias. Using Tyrant Wing, <coughs> recycle card. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. You can target one face up monster you control. Equip this monster to that target. It gains 400 and excuse me, 400 attack and defense. Also, it can make three attacks during each battle phase. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, and I thought Tyrant Dragon was a was a beast. Tyrant Burst Dragon's that monster. Shit. <laughs> oh man, I see why you're gonna need a lot of. Sp oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy next season. Goddess Bow must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos using a Warrior type monster, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face-up monster on the field. Equip this t card to it. While this card is equipped to the monster by this effect, negate the first effect activated by your opponent during each battle phase. Hmm. Also, after that, the quick monster can make a second attack during this battle phase. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my. It's a lot of double attacks. There we go. Try mid hunter. If a field spell card is face up on the field, you can normal summon one rock type monster in the dance. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even say yours, just if it's a face up field spell card on the field. 
You can normal summon one rock type monster in addition to your normal summon set. Hmm. That's interesting. You can only you only gain this effect once per turn. Once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one Trident Field Spell card in your field zone, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, activate one Trident Field Spell card from your deck with a different name. This is a quick effect. Wow, what a way to save, right? All right, here we go. Now we got the legendary knight Timaeus. Timaeus cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon with legendary legend of heart and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can target one face up spell trap card on the field. Banish that target. <laughs> when this card is targeted for an attack, you can target one spell card in your graveyard. Set that target. Oh my gosh, is Egon, are Egon's going to be coming back soon with this? Now you got Legendary Knight, Critias. Cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned with Legend of Heart, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up spell or trap card on the field, banish that target. When this, field, when this card is target for attack, you can target one trap card in your graveyard, set that target. That set card can be activated during this turn. All right, there goes the treach. <laughs> there goes the treach. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so treacherous with it. Legendary Knight Hermos cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon with Legend of Harp and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up spell trap card on the field. Banish that target once per turn. When this card is targeted for attack, you can target one effect monster in your graveyard until the end phase of this of your next turn. This card's name becomes that target's and replace this effect with that target's original effect. So the legendary knights are going to be an issue, but there's certain conditions to get them on the field, which is we should see. Exod, Master of the Guard. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summon except by attributing one Sphinx monster. Each time an Earth monster is flipped, summon while this card remains face up on the field, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Look at that defense though. Four thousand. Four thousand defense, but zero attack. Hmm. But each time an Earth monster flip summon while this card remains face up on the field, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. So that's there's there's something with that. <laughs> there's really something going on with that. I can I can I can think of some ideas off of that. All right, Hera Coast Sphinx. Your opponent cannot select a face down defense monster as an attack target. Oh shoot! Protection like a mug. Cryo Sphinx. When a monster is returned from the field to the owner's hand, the owner of the returned monster selects and sends one card in their hand to the graveyard. Hmm. That could be that could be interesting. Work with. Revival Golem. The effect of Revival Golem can only be used once per turn. When this card is sent from your deck to the graveyard, activate one of these effects. Special summon this card from the graveyard, or add this card from your graveyard from the graveyard to your hand. Okay, we'll see how this we'll see how this figure deals, right? Dogu. Oh gosh, that looks like a persona. During the end phase, if this card is in the grave because it was sent there by an opponent's card effect this turn while in your possession, you can add from your deck to your hand one monster with a different level from the monsters you control and the monsters in your graveyard. You can only use this effect of Dogu, of Dogu once per turn. Interesting. And try mid King Golem. All rock type monsters on the field gain on the field gain 500 attack. If a try mid monster you control battles, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. If this face up card on the field zone is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one try mid monster from your hand. You can only use this effect of try mid King Golem once per turn. The Eye of Timaeus. Timaeus. I don't know why I want to say Timaeus. Timaeus. 
This card is also treated as legendary dragon Tim is. Target one dark magician monster you control. Fusion summon one monster from your extra deck that lists that monster on the field as a fusion material. Using it as a, the fusion material. You can only activate one the eye of Temius per turn. Oh man, we got quicker ways of fusion. The Kibio Drakmord. The quick monster cannot attack. Destroy the quick monster at the end of its controller's second turn after this card is activated. At that time, this card is returned to the owner's hand. Oof. Oof. Talk about trolling. Goodness. Rock Bombardment. Send one car one rock type monster from your deck to the graveyard. Inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermes using a dragon type monster and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face up monster on the field, equip this card to it. It gains a thousand attack and 500 attack and defense for each dragon type monster on the field and in the graveyards. That's interesting. Time Magic Hammer. Must be special summoned with the Claw of Hermes using a spellcaster type monster and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, target one other face up monster on the field, equip this card to it. At the start of the damage step, if, this, if it battles an opponent's monster, you can roll a six sided die and banish that monster's opponent. Oh, hold on. Are you fucking kidding me? So you roll a six sided die and banish that opponent's monster until the standby phase of the, of the nth turn. This Activation in is the results. Man, imagine you able to roll a roll a six. <laughs> Banish that opponent's monster to the six standby after this effects activation. Oh, that's so trolly. Rocket Hermos Cannon. Must be special summoned with the claw of Hermos using a warrior type monster and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summon, target one other face up monster on the field, equip this card to it. It can make a second attack during each battle phase. Also, if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. That's what I'm talking about. Mystical Sand. Just a regular fusion monster by using giant soldier of stone and ancient elf. Trimid Dancer, once per turn, you can target one Trimid card in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, all rock type monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Once per turn, during your opponent's turn, you can target one Trimid, <coughs> excuse me, field spell in your field zone, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, activate one Trimid field spell card from your deck with a different name. This is a quick effect. That's pretty decent defense also for a level three monster, so, you know, I'm gonna take it. Guardian Dread Scythe. Ooh. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summoned by its own effect and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If a Guardian Eidos is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can quit one Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe from your deck to this card. You cannot normal or special summon monsters, but you can normal set. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon this card from the graveyard. Oh, that is dreadful. Auriculus. Uh, Aurica. Shit. Oricalcos Shinoros. This can, card cannot be normal summon or set. If a normal monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card gains a thousand attack for each monster your opponent controls. Face up level four normal monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. Hmm, that's interesting. That is very interesting. And then we have some vanilla. Mina Mushi Warrior Vanilla. Ferris Lady again vanilla. Try mid fortress. All rock type monsters on the field gain 500 defense. Trimid monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card, if this face-up card on the field zone is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Trimid monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect the Trimid Fortress once per turn. Legend of Hearts. Pretty sure that's what we was waiting on for the longest, right? Ugh. 
I don't know where that is right now. <clears throat> Pay 2,000 life points and tribute one warrior type monster. <laughs> Banish up to three legendary dragon spell cards with different names from your hand and or graveyard. And if you do, special summon that many legendary knight monsters with different names from your hand, deck, and or graveyard. You can only activate one legend of heart per turn. Okay, you know, I just seen the pay 2,000 life points. Like, hold on, motherfucker. Destiny Geraldine. The Fane of Critias. This card is also treated as Legendary Dragon Critias. Send one trap card from your hand or field to the graveyard that is listed on the fusion monster that can be special summoned with the Fane of Critias. If that card is set, reveal it. Then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only activate one, the Fane of Critias, per turn. The Claw of Hermos. This is also treated as Legendary Dragon Hermos. Send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard of that type that is listed on a fusion monster that can be special summoned with the Claw of Hermos. If that card is set, reveal it, then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only activate one of the Claw of Hermos per turn. Celestial Sword Eidos. This card is treated as a Noble Arms card. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. The equipped monster gains 500 attack. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one Guardian Eidos you control. It gains 500 attack for each banished monster. Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe. Equipped only to Guardian Dread Scythe, it gains 500 attack for each monster in the graveyard. Damn. Throw your monsters in the graveyard if you want to. Horn of Light. Wow, this, this just sounds so old school. Why does Horn of Light ring so many bells right now? I'm not going to say much. Increase the defense of a monster equipped with this card by 800 points. <laughs> when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, if you pay 500 life points, this card returns to the top of your deck. Recycle. Magnet Conversion. Target up to three level four lower magnet warrior monsters in your graveyard. Add them to your hand. During either player turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one of your banished level four or lower magnet warriors monsters. Special summon it. Tyrant Wing Recycle Card. But you can target one dragon mo type monster on the field. Equip this card to it. It gains 400 attack and defense. Also, it can make up to two attacks on the monster's during each battle phase. Once per turn, during the end phase, if the monster equipped with this card by this effect attacked an opponent's monster this turn, destroy that card. Monk Fighter, they gotta be kidding me, but battle damage to this card's controller from a battle involving this card becomes zero. Again, recycled. Elephant Statue of Disaster, Recycle. But when this card is sent from your hand to your graveyard by the opponent's card effect, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. Cannon. Cannon. If a rock type monster in defense position is attacked, double any battle damage to the controller of the attacking monster. Okay, so now we pretty much took a look at the new mini box, which is hopefully drop in within the next couple days which is guardians of rocks so if you definitely enjoy what you see make sure you smash that like button and if you feel that this is going to shake up next season i'm pretty sure magician navigation will also do some damage and the the magnet warriors will do some damage also this looks like this is what we needed in duelings for quite some time because you know you don't really see that many rock type monsters play get any play but it looks like it's going to be flooded next season so as always i'll see everybody next time and have a good one